It all started with noodle giggle soup. As a young girl, Marjorie Drucker created that soup in her family's kitchen, and she has been cooking ever since. At just 21, fresh out of culinary school, she originated the recipes and menus for a cafe called Boston Chicken, which later grew into the national chain Boston Market. She's been called a soup sommelier. These days, she's the executive chef and co-owner of two Massachusetts restaurants, the New England Soup Factory and Modern Rotisserie. So we are delighted to welcome Marjorie Drucker to The Dish. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. We love your story, and we love this table. Tell I us about what's too. here. I do, too. This is a beautiful winter menu, uh, a gorgeous salad of frise with roasted pears, French feta cheese, and beautiful jewels of pomegranates, which I just think are gorgeous. Our soups, we have this wonderful sweet potato corn chowder. Mm. Of course, in New England, we're always trying to create magnificent chowders. And this is one of our favorite chowders that a lot of times during the holidays, we send people home with gallons to serve as a first oh, course. I, Anthony can attest, I squealed when I heard we were having soup. I love it so much. <laughs> and I think people have that reaction. It's such a comfort food. It's the perfect food. It feels good when you eat it. It's easy to eat, and it's healthful. I read you sell 300 gallons of soup a day. A day. <laughs> we make quite a bit of soup, but I still love making soup, and I still go in every day and create soup with my staff. So it's something I never get tired of. It, it drives me. It motivates me. I, I love it. You grew up in Newton, Massachusetts. Yes. You still live there. You're still there with your family. What was it like growing up there, and, and how have you incorporated your family into your work? Newton, Massachusetts is such a progressive community. They are people who are very smart, very socially conscious. It's the way we were all raised growing up in school and pretty worldly. It was a really special place to grow up. And still living there today, it's wonderful because when I'm in my shops every day, people are coming in and they know me, whether they were my driver's ed teacher, whether I went to summer camp, whether I went to Sunday school with them. <laughs> It's, it's a really special community with really special people. I love that you met your husband at Johnson & Wales Culinary School yes. in Providence, Rhode Island. Yes. Um, you described yourself as peanut butter and jelly? Yes, we were always together. <laughs> we were never Aww. apart. We, we actually got a internship working on Captiva Island at South Seas Resort. Right. And we were both 19 years old, and the day we met, the hour we met, we fell in love instantly, Aww. and it was 1983, <laughs> and, um, and we're still together, and uh, he is my business partner, and we have a daughter, Emily. And Who went she, to Johnson & Wales as she well. She went to Johnson & Wales, too, so it's a family legacy. So in terms of the timeline, then, you guys had met, and it was about two years later that you then created this recipe that we all, almost everyone, I feel like, has had in Boston Market, said that chicken is your recipe. Yes. How did that idea come about? How did you even get involved? It was... My best friend, his name was Arthur Coors. He uh, was the founder of Boston Chicken. And he, we would drive around in his car. We were such good friends because we worked together in my first food job. And he was my manager, but we became really close friends. And he was opening a place and I begged him to hire me. Right. And he didn't want to hire me because A, we were too good of friends. Right. And B, I was only 21 years old. Right. But I said, I can do it. I know I can do it. And there were... You ended up opening the first Boston chicken restaurant. Yes. It was in 1985. Wow. Wow. The chicken is delicious. As we pass this dish over and get your signature on it, we want to ask if you Thank could have you. this meal with any person, past or present, who would that person be? I might like to have dinner with Tom Brady, maybe, <laughs> maybe tomorrow, and I can help heal <laughs> yeah. his cold and make him some good chicken well, soup. Now we don't have to ask you who you're rooting for either, Marjorie. <laughs> no. Thank you so much.